14. Um, I thought Tennessee played great, um, really, to start the game. Out hustled us to every ball, and they were up 10 rebounds. And then we kind of fought back. And then in the second half, we come out and break down again, and they get up, and, and we don't quit. I mean, that's all I can ask of my team. Um, we don't make an open shot. Um, we leave our feet, probably ran them over about six times. Think about that and have a chance to win. I'm stunned on the road. So you know we we had a couple breakdowns that just drove me crazy. Stuff that we worked on, and I think we had a couple guys that were uh, asleep, and um, they'd never been in the see. They've never played on a team that's trying to win every single game. If you lose, you lose. Walk on, win. Where do we eat? We got another one tonight. They used to. And so we had a couple guys that it really. Probably going to end up having to play Ramon more and put, push some other guys back because the reality of it is, you know, you know, we've got to get some some rotation. But the other stuff was, you know, was pretty good. Questions? John, it's the 14th morning. You guys are going to throw shooting from downtown. Friend, coincidence? Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, we are what your stats say. Are what your record is. And as a player, you are what your stats says. So we gotta. My thing is getting guys in the gym more. We don't practice long hours right now. Get in the gym and shoot if you want to play. There's not a, a birth right to be on the floor just missing every shot. You can't miss them all. You don't have to miss them all or make them all. Just make a few. And you know. And then I'm also challenging guys about it to see if they're tough enough to take that and go back in and play. If they're not, you know, as this season goes on, we're not playing for fun in Kentucky. It's not why we play playing for a seed, we're playing to advance in that other tournament. And you know what? There are certain guys that maybe can't fit into that. Just, you can't. I mean, I love you to death. You're great. To sit there and cheer with us. I said there would be a learning experience for you. What do you learn from this game? Um, one is the way we started, where they came after us and we weren't ready for it. Um, the second thing was, uh, in, in, in an afternoon game, which we could be in in the NCAA tournament, we need to get up and have a shoot around. I don't care if we play Thursday or not. And I decided not to have a shoot around. And you had, we had two guys definitely, and I'm not going to mention names, you'll probably know. They were, they were sleeping. They were sleeping during the whole game. They didn't have any, they just were, they, and when you're in that mode, during a game, you can't change. You're, that's who you are, that you change the next game. And again, but I don't want to take away from Tennessee because they, when it went 65-65, I thought we were winning. There was no question in my mind we were winning this game. And you know what? They made a play. I know a ball scooted loose. We had one on the baseline. A guy just took it out of our hands off our leg. Come on now. Two-point game. Well, that means they wanted it more than we wanted it. Um, those kind of things. I mean, it's you got to give them credit. I mean, they're a good team. And, um, they're good players, well coached. Fans were great. What a great environment. I was happy to see how many Kentucky fans were. I was, I got to ask, how did they get tickets? That's my question. What did you think about Tennessee? It seemed like they got to the rim many times today on the drive and then otherwise. We took some chances that we didn't need to, um, but I thought in the first half they were struggling to score in the half court. And I told them, I, I gave them seven plays that we gave them baskets that as bad as we played offensively, it should have been a two-point two game, one way or another. But you gave them this play, you threw this pass, you threw this one for a layup, they threw this one long and got a layup. We went under a ball screen, which is why I went absolutely nuts, because the guy that was sound asleep went under a ball screen and gives Mays a wide open three. Um, and so we did that kind of stuff. Well, we are going to be that. But again, let me just tell you, the, probably if you were a fan and you're watching that on TV, that was a great game. For me sitting there, when we went down 19, I'm like just shaking my head saying, this is, this is, we're going to find out now what we are. And what we found out is, you know, we're not bad. We got a chance. Um, and, and when you shoot two for 22, and it's 65-65, wow. You know, and, and again, I mean, we got to find that guy. I thought Darius Miller played well, did good stuff. Now, the one where he held the ball and almost shoot an air ball, I take him out. I said, look, you almost shot an air ball. I'm not going to play you. I don't care that you miss. Miss it long, short, miss it, but don't. And then he went back in, and, he, and that shows me toughness. 
He went back in, he made shots. It's easy, oh, sorry, I'm going to cut you off. When you're two for 22, it's easy for us to say, well, maybe he shouldn't shoot that many. But did you, for, for the most part, the well, shots you took, why do you, why they do you shot? think you end up shooting that many? Yeah. Well, because well, that's, that's what you got. I'm just asking you, what so, shots so you, you got? Can, so now you, you can pass up a wide open shot, drive in there, and charge somebody, which we did. Or you can say, shoot the ball, three things can happen. You make it, you miss it, and we rebound it. You miss it, and they rebound it. I like two of three. And then you got guys that can make threes, but this is high-level stuff now. We're 27 and two. We're number two in the country. These guys have never been in this. You don't think they're feeling some of that stuff? Well, good, now I need to know who can deal with that feel because it's going to feel that way in about another three weeks. John, now, who can play and who can't? John, how did you feel that John Wall did when you got down 19? And oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, he was unbelievable. But I thought, I thought uh, the way they played DeMarcus Cousins, they ended up putting two guys on him. I thought he was terrific. I mean, he did some things. I thought Daniel played well. I mean, uh, Eric Bledsoe played okay. I mean, he, you know, and at the end when it was gut check time and trying to win the game, I thought he played really well. But we, what I told our guys, what we got to figure out is 40 minutes of how we play when we're trying to win a game. And, and, but they've never done that. They were AAU players seven months ago. They played in Vegas three games. And so they just play when they feel like, well, you can't do that because it's one and done here in three weeks. And this was a great lesson. I told them this was great for us. Losing this will wake us up. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing.